Dudes, welcome back. So today on the bench, we're actually working on an integrated project right now that uh, we have this Furman PL Pro DMC power conditioner spec. Um, and uh, it's pretty weighty. So Ben and I decided... Hello. Ben and I decided that we we're going to take this thing apart and we want to see what's in it. So because I have less than zero knowledge about really fine-tuned electrical things, I'm going to make Ben do the thing that he hates the most and talk about electrical things on YouTube. Oh, boy. So let's look <laughs> at this thing. So power actually comes in. Now, this is a cool move. I didn't realize that this was a thing. Furman on the 20 amp version does use an Airpax breaker, which in case you're curious, is what we use here at LM. So this is a pretty serious breaker. I mean, these are, you know, generally, I think, I think we sell these things for like 25 bucks kind of thing. So that's certainly not cheap. I mean, this is a can't remember. I think dealer cost on this Furman thing is like three hundred and change dollars. Like it's even as a dealer cost, it's not a particularly cheap thing. But uh, cracking it open, it's pretty sweet. So um, this is the top of it right here. You know, the desk is messy as per normal, so they are grounding there. And Ben pointed out that it's pretty sweet. This back portion right here. This is how they wire all their outlets, which is have these pressed in, just a straight path, and then these pop push on make connection which is pretty cool certainly a heck of a lot easier than the way that we do it with ring terminals on everything and so it is wild i mean power distribution is power distribution so it's always kind of interesting for me to crack these things open just you know knowing what we do here at lm versus what you can buy buy from it looks like a good one it's like the kind you buy from a store so we're looking at this. There's two transformers in here. So what did we decide? One is a step down for the dimmer yeah, on the front. I think, yeah. Did this one say? Oh, yeah, it's 14 volts. So you got 14 volts going for the dimmer for the lights that pull out here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, look, then, they have, look, they have their cool another... little heat shrink thing on the back with the lights. Pull that light out again. There you go. Ooh. There you go. It's pretty sweet. And then just another one for the other digital circuitry because there's a amp meter on the front oh which is kind of interesting so there's the this is the little the little ferrite choke right here this is how they're measuring amperage gotcha which makes sense so look there's a lot of transformers in this thing there's a transformer here there's these, there's a transformer back here i wonder if this is for the backlights the little bnc that goes out the back for the the infamous backlight that nobody ever uses <laughs> So, I mean, as far as power conditioning goes, this is a power conditioner. It's a toroidal transformer. And then what were these guys? We looked this up. I had polypropylene film capacitors. What is a polypropylene film capacitor? Uh, it uses polypropylene film as, I think, the insulating layer between the conductors. And it gives you different properties and over a electrolytic or ceramic capacitor. Well, this is this is probably a ceramic cap right here. Right? I think that's a, I think that one's a mauve, so that's uh, protection for voltage spikes. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Well, they have two then, one yep. right here and one right here. So that's your. This oh yeah, is, there it says. This is it's, on your input. It's on the PCB. And then this is. God, we're doing this wrong. We should do this with it plugged in. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> joke. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, cool. It does say it on the on the PCB. MOV 1, MOV 2, line voltage present on board, Furman Sound Inc., copyright 2007. I love the size of these diodes in here. I always knew you were a diode, man. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. So, I mean, again, like, uh, if you missed the uh, the previous video where we took the Neve primary source enhancer apart, I will give you the same line that I did on that video. Um, in my younger days, I would look at all of this kind of stuff and scoff as to how much it costs. But in my older days of building similar type products here at LM and thinking, hmm, I wonder what they have the cost-wise in the, in the rack chassis and just to get that built before they even populate it. And, you know, the breaker is, the breaker is probably 20 or 30 bucks in there. And it's, it is kind of interesting. It is pretty affordable. Really, when you think yeah, about it. So, I mean, again, I don't know what these things are for street price. I think we buy them for 325 a piece, not to give too much away as to what, what dealer pricing versus map pricing is. Anyway, there's the Furman. 
This is the nice Furman, too. Well, we figured we'd take it apart and show you guys. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Say bye, Ben. Bye. <laughs> See you guys later.